In this video, we will demonstrate the performance of an opposed deliberate breach of a reconnoitered minefield. You can find this scenario in the demo folder of the standard missions. Situation: Our battalion is to attack due north. The enemy is an understrength mechanized company, probably only with weak support. They have dug in and are all watching a minefield blocking our advance towards the objective. Likely intent of the enemy is to delay our advance until reinforcements will arrive to stabilize the front. We are to preempt that reinforcement. UAV reconnaissance reveals that the enemy is thinned out and weak, with limited anti-tank weapons and no offensive capabilities. Execution Artillery will fire a smoke screen to conceal and protect the engineers during their initial breach attempt. The tank platoons north of Lachendorf, as well as in the forward positions near the mine obstacle, will suppress enemy defenders with direct fire. Our artillery observer will support with high explosive barrage on detected enemy positions. The engineer team with M113 will approach the mine obstacle and fire its line charge, then break contact. Because the line charge is not always reliable, we need to prove the lane with mine blows. The forward tank platoon will shift position and prove the cleared lane. Engineers will then follow the tank and mark the lane. As soon as the flags to mark the lane are being planted, the company commander will give the order to the entire company to follow through the breach. This is the critical phase. It is essential for the success of our mission that the enemy doesn't manage to block our passage by disabling a vehicle within the lane, or else vehicles attempting to drive around it may drive on mines. Don't stop, no matter what happens. While in the lane, we are most vulnerable to artillery fire. We must get through as quickly as possible. Once that we are through, the company will unfold, secure the breach site, and then continue towards the objective. Any questions? Okay, let's roll! After the planning phase is finished, the execution of the plan begins. The company commander rolls forward into a prepared position to observe the progress of the breach operation. The tank platoons open fire on enemy positions. Atari opens the pre-planned smoke barrage to cover the breaching operation. To better illustrate the sequence of events, we will now show parts of the battle from instructor's independent point of view. This perspective is not available for normal students or in the personal edition of Steven's Professional. The engineer team with M113 now approaches the mine obstacle at top speed in danger of guided missiles from the defenders. The vehicle drags along a trailer with a rocket launcher. The rocket is designed to carry a string with a series of explosive packages across a minefield. Once the missile has covered the entire width of the obstacle, the explosives will be detonated to either detonate the mines on the ground by overpressure or to blast them to the sides so that a passage without mines opens up. Fortunately, the method is not totally reliable. Tanks with mine blows need to drive through the lane first to make sure that no intact anti-tank mine is left over. The mine blows usually withstand one blast or two. There is no magic trick in Steel Beast to make sure that tanks will always survive this procedure. Be prepared to react to emergencies within breach lanes at any time. Often you can steer other vehicles around an obstacle, but there may be hidden mines buried in the ground. An alternative but slower method is to push a damaged vehicle through the obstacle in front of you. As long as it doesn't get stuck, it will shield you well, at the expense of the poor crew still inside the disabled tank. You could evacuate them first, but that will cost you precious time with the enemy can use to call in for artillery support. How will you react? In the meantime, the engineers are moving forward to mark the lane. So far, the mission is progressing well. With the flags in place, an important visual cue for human players is given about the position of the breach lane. It's now time to give the command to the entire company to move through the breach. Not a minute too late. The enemy has called in ICM bomblet strikes against the tanks in their rather static positions, suppressing the defenders. Soon the critical phase will be over. 
but a competent enemy will try to disrupt the passage with artillery fire. It is important to locate artillery observers and neutralize them as quickly as possible. Always remember, to conduct a deliberate breach, you must know the position of the obstacle. Conceal your breach with a smokescreen. Suppress defenders overwatching the obstacle with direct fire. Prepare the breach with a line charge. Proof the lane with dozers or mine rollers. Mark the lane with engineers. As the defender of a mine obstacle, keep in mind that a deliberate breach is a complicated process. Most often the enemy will try to avoid breaching the obstacle altogether. Therefore, consider mine obstacles more as barriers to guide the enemy towards a location where he can kill them with superior firepower. However, any obstacle without sufficient defenders to overwatch enemy activity is a mere speed bump and not used to its maximum effect. Breaching an obstacle is a complex process which you can disrupt rather easily, making it a costly exercise for the attacker. Kill them quickly. If you can't, shoot a tank in the middle of the passage. If you can't, Use heavy artillery barrages whenever follow-on forces try to pass the obstacle. Even better, use all three of these methods. <laughs>